my name is Lent, please be you call me Lent, and welcome to this tutorial video on Binfox. Binfox is a tool which can convert 3D models into schematics files. And what this can do for you is, for example, when you need this giant um, creature or an animal, a shape, a statue or something, but then really big, um, and you are not good at organics, then you can just convert a 3D model to a schematic file where you can that there are all sorts of 3D models out there of all types of things and um, so yeah if you are struggling with some um, really big organics Binfox might be a tool that you want to check out provided that there is a 3D model which can do uh, which is the shape that you want so what it does um, I already explained you can download it from the wiki I will put a link um, to the wiki in the description so there's a, a link and I'll just open it because I already downloaded it. These are the contents and you can um, ex you should just put this um, stuff in a folder and if I go to this my folder um, I have some stuff in here I also have some um, .obg files these are a file format that this tool can convert because it can't convert all 3D uh, model formats but it can convert quite a few but um, if, if the 3D model isn't in the right format then you need to find a converter that will turn um, the model type that you want the format to a format that Binfox will accept and um, it is suggested in the wiki there's also tips on the wiki itself um, it suggests a tool called MeshLab for uh, 3DS objects two objects and uh, 3DS is I think a rather popular format so this will help you out quite often if we go back to the program um, we need to run this program in command prompt and command prompt might be something that people it's quite uh, people might find it scary it's more, a bit more technical and um, so yeah I'm just going to show if you run Vista or Windows 7 then there's quite an easy way to go directly to the right folder in command prompt um, if you aren't on Win Windows Vista or Windows 7 um, it's also on the wiki described how you can run command prompt um, but I'm just going to make this for Windows 7 because there's a really neat trick that I just want to show if you press shift and right click on the folder with all the Bitfox stuff in it a uh, extra link in this menu is open which is open command window here and this will open command prompt for you already in the correct folder and because you need to run this from the correct folder uh, the folder where you have binfox uh, stuff put in and um, in this folder you also need to put the the 3d formats that you want to convert so the commands to run binfox there are various parameters that you can put in but I'm just going to I'm not going to um, really um, cover everything but I'm just going to show I think most useful the things that which are which I found useful and hopefully you find useful as well um, I already pasted in a um, uh, 3d for 3d um, objects into his folder and it's called dolphins.obg um, and we're going to export this I think um, the size you set with minus D which is probably for D for dimension and I want to be this to be 64 blocks um, another useful command is uh, minus RI which makes the model hollow uh, if you don't if you want to have it solid then just get rid of this parameter and you lastly I'm going to do minus T schematic which will turn it into a schematic file um, if we press enter it will start and in this corner we see that there's something happening here uh, unfortunately it's behind my taskbar but um, you'll see it pop up on your screen if you're um, binfoxing something and it's already done so what we have now in this folder where we put all the binfox stuff in um, there's dolphins schematic number five and I already had four so it just made number five and the best way to view this I think is in MacEdit so we open MacEdit and this is MacEdit so just going into my 
creative world for the Let's Build series because I needed some smaller dolphins for this. And I'm just going to import the schematics. If you remember the folder where you put everything in. Um, dolphins 5. Let's open this. Let's drag it up a bit. Paste it next to the bigger ones. I already exported these which were bigger. I did it quite a while ago. Rotate. Um, this doesn't look quite right. The orientation might be a bit different. But um, yeah. So here we have a really big one which I already did something with. And here we have a smaller version of the same thing. These were converted from the same model. Um, there are some more in this because there were more um, dolphins in the 3D file that I put in. And um, this one is hollow as we specified. So um, yeah, this is how you use Bitfox basically. Um, the easiest way, the easiest way to explain. But if, because um, for example, this flipper, these flippers tend to be a bit derped. Same for the tail fin because these voxels are so thin. Um, but there are other parameters that you can put into. Uh, it depends on, like, it ch changes how if something is voxeled. Um, for thinner models, you might want to run a different parameter as well. Uh, but it's all it's all specified on the wiki. So um, I would suggest you first do it without all these um, other fancy parameters and see what comes out. Um, so yeah, that's it for this tutorial and make some cool organics yourself. So um, yeah, what do you want to see uh, in 3D models in Minecraft? Mostly, and just look it up. Um, for example, on Turbo Squid or um, Google SketchUp or any of the 3D uh, object repositories, pretty much. And um, yeah, make create some. I want to thank you for watching this video and have an awesome day.